Hello everyone! In this video, we are going to be working on crocheting the legs of the llama. Before we begin, you should have crocheted rounds 24 through 27, which was single crocheting around for four rounds. Before we crochet the legs, we need to section off the areas with stitch markers. Remove your stitch marker that you already have in place and put it one space to the left. Each leg needs to be nine stitches across. Starting at the stitch marker, count nine stitch spaces. Once you are done, place a stitch marker on the ninth stitch. There will need to be six stitches between the front and back legs. So count six stitch spaces from your stitch marker. Place another stitch marker on the seventh stitch. This will mark the beginning of a new leg. Count another nine stitch spaces for the second leg and place a stitch marker on the ninth stitch. Skip one stitch and then place another stitch marker right after it. This will be the third leg. Place another stitch marker on the ninth stitch of your third leg. Then count another six stitches for the space between the front and back legs. This stitch marker will also mark the beginning of the fourth leg. From that pink stitch marker, count nine stitches and place another stitch marker on the ninth stitch. This will complete the fourth leg. Once you are done sectioning all four legs, you should have a two stitch space between the last stitch markers at the back of your llama. Go ahead and replace your crochet hook. Line up your stitch markers to make sure that everything looks even and in place. In this first space right over here is where my first leg will go. This is the space between the front and back legs. The second leg will go right here the third leg right behind it, the space, and then the fourth leg. Right here, I'm going to single crochet one stitch. I should have two stitch spaces between my blue and green stitch markers. From here, I'm going to begin to crochet the first leg. Starting at the green stitch marker, I'm going to crochet nine single crochet stitches. Once I am done with my nine single crochet, I'm going to chain nine stitches. Once I am finished with my chain, I'm going to slip stitch into the first single crochet of the leg, the one that has the stitch marker in it. For rounds two to four, you will single crochet a round for three rounds. When you reach the chain, to make it a little bit easier, make sure to crochet in the back loop only. For the rest of rounds three and four, single crochet around. Mm -hmm. 
Once you are done with rounds two to four, your llama's leg should look something like this. For round five, start by single crocheting two stitches. Once you are done, single crochet another two stitches and decrease. Repeat this four times. For round six, start by single crocheting two stitches. Once you are done, single crochet and then decrease. Repeat this four times. Once you are done with round six, slip stitch and fasten off. Once you are done, your llama's leg should look similar to this. Use a pair of scissors to trim a long tail and sew the leg closed with a yarn needle. And there you have it, you are done with your llama's first leg. You're going to complete a similar process for the other three legs, but remember to keep proper spacing between each one. For making the other three legs, make a slip knot on your crochet hook and insert it into the first stitch. From there, single crochet your nine stitches. Once you are done, repeat the same process for all the other legs. Remember to leave a one stitch space between the second and third legs.